Introducing PDPC's Data Anonymization Tool, a tool to help organizations anonymize their data for sharing. The Data Anonymization Tool offers various anonymization techniques that can be applied to data sets. This ensures that anonymized data can still be analyzed to derive insights from it without knowing who the individuals are. Let's take a fictional gym, Awesome Gym as an example. Awesome Gym wants to increase their market share. In order to do that, they need to share their existing gym members' data with an external marketing agency to increase brand awareness amongst a similar audience as their existing consumers. However, the data protection officer has some concerns regarding personal data that may be shared. The DPO remembers that PDPC has previously launched an anonymization guide to be used in tandem with the data anonymization tool. From the guide, the DPO will learn how to anonymize gym members' data through five simple steps. First, the DPO must discern the different data attributes in the dataset to identify indirect attributes to be anonymized. In this case, the gym members' names are the only direct identifiers and need not be shared with the marketing agency. The DPO assesses that birth date, postal code, BMI, and years with gym data will need to be anonymized. The DPO will then copy and paste those data into the anonymization tool. The marketing agency does not need the member's date of birth and only needs their age, which can be derived from the year they were born. The tool provides generalization techniques to make the data less precise. Similarly, full addresses are not needed as the marketing agency only needs to know which area they live in. The tool provides predefined masking techniques for Singapore postal codes. After applying the appropriate anonymization techniques to the rest of the datasets, proceed to assess the risk level. K-anonymity is a simple process to compute the re-identification risk level of a dataset. PDPC suggests that K-anonymity value is at 3 for internal sharing and 5 for external sharing. If the K-anonymity value has yet to meet a desired score, repeat steps 3 and 4 until an appropriate risk level has been achieved. Refer to the anonymization guide for more information. Now, the data protection officer can safely share the anonymized data with the marketing agency for them to derive insights. Once you've finished using the anonymized data, take caution to manage any residual re-identification risks. More details on reviewing any final protective measures can be found in the guide. For more information on how to use the data anonymization tool, head over to the PDPC website and refer to the basic anonymization guide.